Welcome back, you're watching Young Turks. Our next guest may be her mother's daughter, but like most next-gen daughters, she is raising the bar in the interior design space with her own original approach and her global eye. Having clearly inherited her flair from her mother, renowned architect Sunita Kohli, Kohli Kohli in 2010 co-founded K2 India. It's a one-stop shop for all your home decor needs. Having already managed to do business worth over $20 million, Kohlika has created a brand identity of her own. Here's how. 33-year-old Kohilika Kohli has big boots to fill and she has definite designs on how she wants to achieve just this. Daughter of Ace Interior Designer and Padma Shri Awardi Sunita Kohli, Kohilika, after studying to be an architect at the Pratt Institute of Design in New York, returned to India in 2004 to venture out on her own. To begin with, she set up her own company, Kohilika Kohli Architects in a Barsathi, with just two members in her team. Working her way up for the last six years with successful standalone projects, Kohilika, along with her mother, co-founded K2 India in 2010. The umbrella company K2 India has three subsidiaries, Sunita Kohli Interior Designs, which is the interior design cell of the company, Kohilika Kohli Architects, the architecture and project management arm of the company, and Sunita Kohli and Company, the furniture manufacturing unit of the group. While her mother's vast repertoire as an interior designer has definitely left an impression on Kohilika, but you can clearly tell that the young Kohli girl is busy building her own credo. I guess I have been hugely influenced by my mother, of course, and she is my most important critic till date. We've traveled, I mean, she's made us travel since we were kids, you know, and we haven't just been to Disneyland and things. We've also gone to very interesting places, architecturally, culturally. I think I, the most important thing when it comes to my architecture and design is that I like to understand the surroundings. I like to understand the client who's going to stay there, the client's use out of that space. What is he expecting? So one of the first questions I ask a client when I do homes is, you know, what is your dream home, right? And they go, they come up with 700 things. And then I eventually say, okay, you know what? I'm really sorry. Um, you know, some dreams are meant to just simply stay as dreams. So I can't give you all 700. And then I start this dissecting process of what will give them a perfect home. While creating elegant spaces is her calling, Kohilika has an eye for detail and an obsession for perfection. Supervising every piece that's created in her workshop. While 80% of her furniture is manufactured in-house and 20% imported from Italy, Germany and Denmark, Kohilika claims that 30% of her furniture production is exported to South Africa, San Francisco, London, New York and Sri Lanka. With three workshops in Delhi that churn out 300 one-of-a-kind pieces of furniture every month, K2 India has already managed to do business worth over $20 million since 2010. There is, of course, the, the architecture and design cell, which is charged on, depending on the size of the project, it's charged uh, either per square foot or as a lump sum fee, which we charge. We, um, you know, we take up projects as small as 1,600 square feet and it can go upwards to 30,000 square feet. We've even done uh, restoration projects which are larger than that in size. Up our furniture line, we have pieces of furniture here which are 25,000 rupees starting tables. And then uh, we have pieces of furniture here which are customized bar designs that we do that go up to about 9 lakhs, 10 lakhs, 12 lakhs. We've done, we also do uh, wall installations, you know, and the price. So the more we customize for a client, the higher the price goes. So there's definitely no limit there. But we have done, you know, apartments for people in a very budgeted way and using, it, which, which doesn't mean that we reduce the quality of the material that went into the product. It just means that the finishing we chose was of a different type because there's a huge price range even in the sort of veneers you can select. Targeting well-traveled, high net worth individuals, K2 India works only by appointment and to maintain its exclusivity, does not want to get into the mass market retail space. 
with 30% of revenues coming in from design consultancy, 50% from turnkey projects and 20% from bespoke furniture. Here's what Kohilika has chalked out for the future. What I'm really hopeful and I'm, I'm wanting to do is create a cell which a client comes in, he's already got the floor plans, okay? And we've just given him a furniture layout with an electrical layout and a furniture selection, you know? And he says, look, this is the money I have. This is the budget I have. What can you give me? And I want to create that separate, separate cell to say about by, you know, before the end of 2014, because I think there's a huge market for that. On, our, on the furniture end of things, which is the more micro scale that I work on, I would, you know, I'm already in talks with someone to have a line that sells in Sri Lanka. I would love to be able to retail in Bombay. So can I do it all on my own? No. So I'm looking for partners to come on board who will retail our furniture in different cosmopolitan cities. And this I would really like at least to be in two other cities before the end of 2013. Geared up for growth, Kohilika knows she has to keep her step steady. A five-time winner of the National Sub-Juniors Championship in Horse Riding in UK, Kohilika wants to bridge traditional Indian designs with a contemporary sensibility and believes keeping up with technology will help her stay ahead in the race. Kohilika here is hoping you take K2 India to greater heights.